So, let's just start off with uh, your name. Eugene Anthony Daniels the second. <laughs> At CSU, I am the director of marketing at um, CTV. I am an anchor at CTV. I write for the Collegian. I write a weekly column with a friend of mine. Um, I just got a radio show with KCSU. Um, I'm also employed at College Avenue Magazine. I am the vice president of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee of CSU. I am the co-chair of the Mountain West Conference Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and I am the vice chair of the National um, Student Athlete Advisory Committee of the NCAA. <laughs> so I, I get a little busy. <laughs> My mom kind of instilled in us to, um, to be involved. And I think um, at, 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 with what I'm involved in, it helps me use my, what I consider my talents um, to better myself and to kind of go where I want to go. You, you feel good to me um, because I feel like I'm giving back at the same time because everything I'm involved in is very um, service-based. With student media and media in general, I think giving back and um, to me, I want to tell the stories of people who can't tell them themselves, and that's kind of my whole like <laughs> thing of living and trying to help people live their best self. Um, and so that's something that I'm, I really work on. I think that's why I love media because that's a, a it's a big outlet where we can do that. Hey, can you remind me how to do this again? You got a show open and highlight to the goodbye, right? I, my migraines start, I lose half my vision. I'm actually kind of glad because I don't have time. Well, are you a senior or whatever? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I'm graduating. Yeah. Oh, I felt really bad. You are right. I am like, but you're like. Yeah. Let's go make some food. Yeah, proud of the. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my like attitude shifted toward my dad. It was the weirdest thing, and I called him immediately. And we still have a lot. Me and him has still have a long way to go with you know our issues, but um, I think we're at a, we're at a good place in it. Those two. Yeah, you also remember. I don't, I don't, need to go up yeah, I don't even it. know if we need it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been noticing this weird recurring trend of girls losing losing what? This is not a good idea. I don't think you should not hang out with your significant other because you're friends. Mm, I don't think you. It's sloppy. Allie, Allie, is road trip two words or what? One, one word. Road trip. Oh, it is. A bit. I'm sorry. What Isn't it like so they have like? Oh, I, I usually do it the other way. Question mark. Uh, so then that needs to go off, right? Because I'm first. That one. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good though. Thanks for doing that. Did you read some of the like the comments that you had? Oh, Did God, you read that no. letter to the editor? <laughs> yeah, oh, the letter to the editor. Oh, there was another letter to the editor. I didn't see that. Yeah, that's funny. I did. What did it say? It was just like she. There, she loved you. She just hated what Eugene wrote. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, At least they're reading. Well, good for you. Yeah. Dude. So either of you. You should add in work together. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. We have heard this quote for years and years. But is it true? A friend of mine, see, he was in a relationship for about three months. They did everything together. They're literally together as much as two human beings could be. You know what happened? He killed her. Okay, I lied. No murder was involved, but they did break up. Eugene and I agree that spending too much time with someone is a bad idea but for different reasons. I don't think you should avoid friends because of your significant other. Clearly, Eugene doesn't have many friends if he thinks relationships that cause the loss of friends is not a big deal. Anna just needs to suck it up and get a man of her own. Women, it's your choice to keep your friends and don't let your boyfriend pressure you into ditching people or always being with him. Eugene might try to get you to do this. Anna is going to be a lonely bag lady. And when was the last time their reasoning made sense? Yeah, never. I've been noticing this reoccurring trend of girls losing friends because they were spending too much time with the one guy they thought would be the one. It was like, ugh, you again? Unless a girl lives with a guy, seeing him every day could be too often. When will the bikini waxings fit in? Don't make your relationship your life or you'll be sleeping alone. Like Anna. Yeah, we draw our ideas definitely from personal experience. Absolutely. We um, have done a couple brainstorming sessions where we just sit down and list ideas and especially um, from different experiences and be like, oh, this is a good idea, this is a good idea, or I have a friend that's going through this, that would be a good idea. So definitely all personal experiences. And that gets us in trouble, actually, because the people we're talking about realize we're talking about them. <laughs> yeah. I want to be like a multimedia mogul is the three M's. I want to be Mopra. It's like the man Oprah. That's my, <laughs> my mom dubbed that name the other day. It was really funny. Um, but yeah, like I want to do everything. He wants to make his own entity. He wants to make a whole brand of like him heading it all. Um, yeah, TV, magazine, radio, stuff like that. And I mean, he's really driven, so you never know what will happen. And then eventually I want to have a magazine, but um, Instead of always having a celebrity on the cover, there will be a celebrity and um, someone from 20 to 30 who's really doing something really amazing with himself. You know what I mean? So um, someone like, there's a kid that I met that wrote a book. Like, who writes a book and they're still in college? And like, it's on Amazon.com. And like, put him and, I don't know, like LeBron James on the cover or something like that. To an outsider, there's no way to justify Eugene having his own brand because you just have to know Eugene to know that he's not doing it to be like the center of attention. He's doing it because he wants to put out good media. You know, I just, I just want to dabble in everything. I think that what I've done now, like the, all the stuff that I constantly put on my plate um, is going to help me to learn the whole business. Because if I'm going to have a real company, then I need to know the ins and outs. Like right now I have a, um, I'll be, I will graduate with a TV news and video concentration, a news editing um, concentration, and also a, um, a public relations concentration. So I'm really, you know, trying to soak in as much as I can about this media world, um, where it's going, what can, you know, and kind of where can I fit in. I'm legit gonna pee my pants. Here you go, ready? Yeah. And mic two and three are on. What's up? So this is the very first show of Out of Sight, Out of Mind. My name's Eugene. And I'm Kate. And we are very out of mind. And I'm always, if I, if you don't like cool talk, we apologize in advance.
You know, I'm going to apologize right now because I'm really nervous. <laughs> she was telling me she was going to throw up. I'm not very excited about that at all. Everywhere. <laughs> See, out of sight, out of mind. On. You suck at this game. I told you to drive. <laughs> you want to chat it up about Chris Brown? Yeah, we can chat about Chris Brown. We want to talk about the Chris Brown debacle. I don't know anything about it. She knows everything about it. She's a liar. Chris Brown was recently on Good Morning America. He flipped out when they started asking him questions about um, him beating up Rihanna. And he said that basically he was just trying to blow off steam. And that he was when he went in the room and threw on stuff, he was just Okay, you go to steam. a gym when you want to <laughs> blow off steam. You don't go to, like, a talk show. He's gonna yeah, your guys' banter... <laughs> between each other, uh, if you keep that up through the whole entire show, it's going to sound like a really, really good show. Okay. Um, and we have very, very special guests, like we told you. Black Prez is in the building. I started, I, I rap, I make music. Um, started like mid-high school, came to CSU as a sophomore. Um, and yeah, like right now, living for a college, just doing my music thing, traveling a lot, doing a lot of shows. So as promised, Black Prez, He's gonna freestyle for us with no instrumental. Wow. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Uh. It's black. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. It's time for my shot. Kinda like a free throw. James in here, he be eating on some Cheetos. One six on the beat box. Every time I come home, yeah, the sheet rock. It's like Black Press. See, they know my name. Blicky Black the President. Yeah, we got game. Catch me on Wednesday in the LSC. See, you know we get flames. Hey, hey, throw your hands up. It's Blicky Black the President. Yeah, my plan's up. I don't even know though. You know I like to flow though. Catch me on the grind with a CSU logo. Yeah, I go here. See, yeah, you know I go to school. Yeah, I rep the Rams. I'm repping CSU. KCSU, to be exact. Every time I rap, I be screaming, it's black. Hey! <laughs> I think Girl. Vanessa Hudgens was in it. Yeah, like, High School Musical, whatever. Yeah, maybe she's singing. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, knives, and singing, nothing better. Nothing better. I think there's a monster in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking, well, what can we do? And the he came back to America and kind of started this whole organization behind it. I, I was taught at a young age that being African American is tougher, you know, than being like a white male or, you know, a white female, um, simply because of the fact that you're black. And it was a tough thing to accept, I think. Um, my dream is to, to tell those stories, to help everyone, all races, all, you know, sexes, all orientations, um, that we are all one race, the human race. You know what I mean? And we, you know, our, the color of our skin is different, but that's not, you know, that doesn't keep us from being, having the, the same um, experiences. Because white, you know, there's people who are white who are racist, there's people who are black who are racist. We all have, you know what I mean? We all have um, the ability to be a positive or negative influence on life. 